And now let's finally make journal entries. We remember the accounting cycle in the days before the computer involved several steps before we could find our accumulated totals in the trial balance. Now with the computer we can go directly from the journal and it will automatically post the transactions, foot the accounts, and copy the results to the trial balance in a split second. So all those previous steps we learned about in the prior video happen immediately. So all we have to do is record the transaction in the journal and the results change in the trial balance like that. So if you are using QuickBooks Online, this is the window that you would enter the transaction in. And then the accounts would change immediately in your QuickBooks Online trial balance. And I'm going to demonstrate this in QuickBooks Online. If you're using QuickBooks Desktop, this would be the window that you would record the debits and credits of a journal entry. And again, in QuickBooks Desktop, the results in the trial balance would be updated immediately. So first, we will do these transactions with QuickBooks Desktop. And we will do the same transactions as before. Let's get prepared. I have my QuickBooks Desktop with a blank general company open. And for those of you who are new to QuickBooks, you would open the trial balance by clicking Reports, Accountant and Taxes, Trial Balance. And for those of you who are new to my class, we always change the date range to all transactions regardless of date. And I'm going to change the shape so we can put it here and put next to this window the window that we actually record the journal entries in. From the main menu, click Company, Make, Journal, Entry. And then this little pop-up, don't worry about assigning numbers, just click the Don't Bother Me box and click OK. Now you can't see much of this window unless you double click the words in the ribbon to collapse the ribbon. Now the top half looks a little bit more like the general journal that we learned about. And let's read our transactions and remember as soon as we record the transaction in the journal it will automatically post the accumulated results to the trial balance. Now, let's do the same transactions that we did earlier in the course, except now we'll do them on QuickBooks. Let's imagine on January 1 of 2025, the owner invested $50,000 cash into the business. If you learned your debits and credits properly, you would know that that would be $50,000 cash debit and $50,000 owner's capital credit. First, we put in the correct date by clicking the date box and going forward or backward or even typing it in manually. You should remove this check mark because this is not an adjusting entry. We will talk about those a little bit later. To record a journal entry in QuickBooks Desktop, click directly under the word Account. Then click the pull-down arrow and choose the account you want to debit. I choose Cash in Chase Bank, and on the same row as that account, I click under the word Debit and type in the $50,000. If I keep clicking Tab or pushing the Tab key, you will see that most software finishes the journal entry for you by trying to balance it out. In other words, QuickBooks knows that there has to be a $50,000 credit somewhere. And that account is Owner's Capital. So this is the way that debit and credit would look like in the general journal. Cash and bank debit owner's capital credit. 
Now before we save it, the trial balance is blank. But when I click Save and Close, you can see the numbers show up for the first time on the trial balance, cash in Chase Bank 50000 and owner's capital 50000 Now let's imagine that on January 5th, we pay 20000 more for more equipment. If you studied your debits and credits properly, that would be equipment debit and cash credit. So, company, make general journal entry, okay, the date is January 5th of 2025. This is our second entry. It's not an adjusting entry, and the account that will be debit will be equipment, and the amount will be 20000 Keep pushing the tab key, and the credit or in the row of credit, the other account is cash because we know that if we pay cash and get equipment, it's equipment debit, cash credit. Now, here's the question. What will the results be after I save this transaction? Well, cash right now is 50000 So if I make a credit of 20000 what do you think the result would be? That's right the result would be 30,000. What about this? What do you think the equipment would be? Well, equipment is starting at zero. So if I save this, equipment should show up for the first time as 20,000. Save and close, and don't worry about this, just click the don't bother me box. Click OK, aha! Cash went down to 30,000 exactly as we expected, and equipment showed up in the trial balance for the first time as 20,000. What about this one? January 10, the owner took home equipment worth $5,000 and he's not using it for business anymore. Well, if you studied your debits and credits, you would know that that would be equipment credit and owner's withdrawals debit. Again, we click Company, Make General Journal Entry. In this case, the date is on the 10th, and this is our third such journal entry. I'm going to double-click here so we can see it nicely. And now I'm going to choose Owner's Withdrawals Debit and put in the row of Debit 5000. And I'm going to tab over until it puts a credit of 5000 and I'm going to credit equipment. Now, here's the question. Can you predict the results? What will equipment become? Well, equipment right now is 20,000. So if we're decreasing it by 5,000, it should become 15,000 if we did this right. And what will withdrawals become? Well, withdrawals will show up for the first time here as 5,000. Save and close, aha, equipment is down to 15000 and owner's withdrawals is 5000 on the debit side. It means we recorded the transaction correctly. What about this one? January 15th, we borrowed 35000 from the bank. What will cash become? Well, right now, cash is only 30000 so if we borrow more from the bank, we'll have more cash. So if we record this transaction properly, cash and bank will become 65000 And bank loan will show up for the first time in the trial balance. So we change the date to the 15th, and we make a debit to cash and bank for the 35000 because we learned that when cash increases, it's a debit. And the balancing credit is here, bank loan. And when I click Save and Close, the numbers are exactly as we expected. Cash becomes 65000 and bank loan shows up for the first time as 35000 Now we'll do a transaction that would absolutely require a journal entry. What if on January 20, the owner invested a vehicle worth 25000 into the business. 
what would be debit and what would be credit? Well, we know capital would be credit because the owner invested an asset. And capital right now has a credit balance of 50000 So if the owner invests another 25000 in asset, that's right. Capital will become 75000 and vehicle will show up for the first time in the trial balance. So, from the main menu, Company Make Journal Entry, this time the date is January 20. And the account that's debit is the new asset that we are getting, Vehicle. And we said that the vehicles are 25000 or at least they're worth 25000 at the moment the owner invests it into the company. And because the asset came from the owner, the owner now has more capital, and we make a credit to capital to increase the owner's capital. When we click Save and Close, capital became the number that we expected it to become, and therefore we recorded the journal entry properly. Now here's one that you might not need to make a journal entry for, but it is one we learned before. 3000 to decrease the bank loan. Well, if this account represents what the bank loan is now and what we owe, if we decrease it, what will it become if we record this properly? It should become 32000 And what will cash become? Well, if we pay to decrease the bank loan, cash will decrease by 3000 and it will become 62000 So we're up to January 25th, and we know that it will be cash credit because we are giving cash. So cash and Chase Bank credit by the 3000 and we know that we're decreasing the bank loan and the bank loan is a liability so it will be bank loan debit now when we click save and close the results are exactly as what we expected the bank loan became thirty two thousand and cash in bank became sixty two thousand let's finish with a transaction that you would definitely need to make a journal entry for. Let's imagine on January 27th we borrowed 17000 more from the bank and bought equipment. That would be the same thing as just taking the equipment and assuming a loan. In that case you have more equipment but you also have a higher balance or more of a bank loan. So we know that would be equipment debit and bank loan credit. So company make journal entry and this one is on January 30th and it will be equipment debit for the 17,000 and it will be bank loan credit. Can you predict what the results will be? Well, let's see. If equipment goes up, if bank loan goes up by 17,000, bank loan should become 49,000 because bank loan is 32,000 right now. And if equipment goes up by 17,000, equipment should become 32,000 because these are the numbers for equipment and bank loan before I click save. And when I click Save and Close, you can see the numbers are exactly as what we predicted. Bank loan is 49000 and equipment is 32000 Don't forget to watch the QuickBooks Online version of this video.